Charlotte Fortin, a black freeborn abolitionist and missionary educator in South Carolina, chronicled New Year's Day. As the steamer Flora approached Port Royal Island on Emancipation Day, Charlotte Fortin and her fellow passengers were overjoyed as they celebrated the first day of America's emancipation. Black folks arrived by foot from nearby plantations and by steamer from the Sea Islands and Hilton Head Island. They were there to meet the South Carolina Volunteers, the Freedmen's Regiment. The black men stood waiting in their new uniforms of blue coats and scarlet pantaloons. Charlotte Fortin was delighted to find an old friend, Dr. Seth Rogers, as the regiment's surgeon. For Emancipation Day, the U.S. Army had brought in great stores of molasses, hard bread, tobacco, and sweetened water, plus a barbecue of a dozen oxen, each standing whole and roasting in its pit. A speaker's platform had been erected and companies of the 1st South Carolina Volunteers stood or sat in a circle around it. The platform was reserved for distinguished speakers, officers and other soldiers, a military band, and the lady missionaries in attendance. The celebration began with prayers, recited poetry, hymns, and speeches. The crowd of several thousand, sprinkled with whites but the majority black, waited for a moment they had so long dreamed of. Finally. President Lincoln's proclamation was read aloud and enthusiastically cheered. Fortin recalled. The proclamation called for black volunteers to join the U.S. Army or Navy. About 200,000 black men would serve in the Union military by the end of the war. Next, Colonel Higginson was presented with a silk regimental flag sent from friends in New York. Embroidered on the flag was the name of the regiment and the words. The year of the Jubilee has come. And there suddenly arose close beside the platform, a strong but rather cracked and elderly male voice, into which two women's voices immediately blended. They sang the marching song of the 1st Arkansas Negro Regiment, set to the same tune as John Brown's body and the battle hymn of the Republic, captured the fighting spirit of black soldiers. As these volunteers went off to battle, they sang, see there above the center, where the flag is waving bright, we are going out of slavery. We're bound for freedom's light. And we mean to show Jeff Davis how the African can fight. As we go marching on. Yes, they said. Now, colored brethren. You shall be forever free. From the 1st of January. 1863. As we go marching on. Glory. Glory, hallelujah. Glory. Glory, hallelujah. As we go marching on. You know we we'll tell the story.